Hi guys, how's it going? It's Marky. Check out this nice vintage Hot Wheels diecast car. A nice T-Bird. Nice uh, green color on this one. Today I'm showing you a bunch of my uh, old Hot Wheels, some of my vintage Hot Wheels. I have so many, but I'm just going to show you a, uh, a little batch of them. There's plenty of them to uh, check out. This is a nice T-Bird. It has the Hot Wheels logo all the way in the back there. And uh, it's marked uh, Hot Wheels... In, uh, copyright 1977 Malaysia but this is a later release not from the 70s it has a plastic base metal body only a two-door vehicle really nice in this uh, green color really really cool I also have this really cool ambulance to show you here Hot Wheels copyright is 1988 on this one the American Ambulance Service Oxygen supplies, first aid. We do have some really cool doors back here. They open really nicely. Great details inside. A really cool Hot Wheels. I really like this one. And the doors are just amazing the way they operate. They work really well. Always good to have some moving parts on these uh, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels car is so cool. Really nice uh, ambulance. I love this one. Really nice temple work. The American Ambulance Service with the stars. Very, very cool. Again, the copyright 1988. Two cool Hot Wheels right there. This one's called the Purple Passion. And I did show you one in a previous video. This is another variation, a different kind of purple. It's like a metallic purple. This one's a little darker, the one I showed you the other day. In one of the other videos, but in case you weren't here and didn't see it, here it is. So there are two different uh, colors of this uh, purple passion, and uh, they have the white walls on them, flames on the darker one, and this one has kind of like a bright green interior with the purple, and this one has a cream color interior. Pretty cool. And here's a really unusual '57 Chevy. This one has the five spokes. Check out the exhaust on the side coming out in front of the tire there. And the weird thing is this one's plastic and I'm, I don't know, kind of have a feeling that this may have been a color, a color changer. Um, but I'm not sure. It does uh, have a different type of look to it. I don't know, with the plastic body, plastic base. It's so light. It's just so strange. It might be a color changer. I have a feeling that it might be that. And here's a caddy in gold, a gold caddy. I was showing you uh, a couple of my caddies. I found some more. A couple of these old uh, 50s caddies. Hot Wheels logo right on the windshield where you're driving. It is a left side driver. Chrome uh, bumper lights and all that good stuff in the front. Same thing in the back. Those big tails, tail fins right there. Really cool. But a nice uh, chrome or gold-plated caddy <laughs> with a stripe, white stripe on the uh, tires there. All right, little white walls there. Very cool. I do have a black one. I have a black one that I showed the other day that's from the, um, like a sports theme that they had going on. And these have the six spokes on them with a the little white stripe. And this one is showing the El Dorado name here on the side. And the same stripe as some of them have come out with i've seen others in the past with this this uh, stripe but this one doesn't have oh yeah it does it doesn't have the stripe but it does have the name there in black el dorado this one has it in white little detail i almost missed that pretty cool a couple of caddies right there i do have a purple one i was showing the other day and the slam dunk since I have them handy because I was showing them the other day. Here they are in case you haven't seen these. Just for the people who never saw the other video. Here they are. Slam dunk. <laughs> so a couple of caddies right there. A bunch of caddies. And uh, here's another passion. Purple passion. This one, it looks like if it's dirty, it's not dirty. It's just a weird how the paint has weathered. I don't know. It's just strange. It looks... It's got like this uh, cloud on it or something. I don't know if it'll polish out. 
It might, it might, but it has some strange colors, right? Like the uh, salmon color, a silver color, and then it has a gold lightning there on the side. Same thing, they have that little wing in the back, like, like this one right here. So another purple passion. Yeah, I opened up one of my cases, one of my old cases, and I have all these stored together there. That's another one with a black look to it. And here's a white caddy in the pearl white with the red interior. White walls on this one, big fat white walls compared to the skinny white walls on these. See the little pearls and the little cool color. This one looks really nice, has that cool color. No, no Hot Wheels logo on the windshield. And I don't see any Hot Wheels logo on it at all anywhere on the body itself. It is marked Malaysia 1989 down here. Let's see this one. Same markings for that one. Or stamped the same way. This one, same thing. And let's see this one, the gold one. Same thing. And this other purple one. Same thing. They're all marked the same way. But this one has that little logo there on the passenger side. Then this one has it on the driver's side. And this one doesn't have it. This one has the logo on passenger as well so we have two with the passenger logos hot wheels logos on the glass and this one has it on the driver's side which is kind of funny here's another t-bird this one i have a lot of variations of the t-bird and this one comes with the uh with the kind of like orangey looking flames with a green outline and there's a hot wheels logo in the glass on the back there and that other t-bird in green that i was showing you at the beginning has the logo on the bumper so they were like putting these out there i have a feeling that maybe they were trying to create different variations because this one here with the orange and the green i have one that's very similar looks almost the same but then you look back here no logo on the glass but it has a logo down here and then those flames on the corner back here are missing. So this one has the logo on the glass back there. And this one has it over here. I have a feeling they were just trying to create a little buzz of uh, different variations. And then I have one more. Let me see. Right here that has kind of like a different color on the flames. The logo's in the back window. But definitely a different color. It has more like a gold look, doesn't it? Check it out when you put it next to this one. More of a gold looking uh, flame to it. So yeah, I just have a feeling they were trying to create some kind of a buzz amongst collectors that there's variations. Because I remember a lot of people going crazy over variations when these were coming out. And hitting the uh, shelves. So you see that? Different color and then no no flames in the back, just the logo. And then these had that logo in the glass back there. So a couple different T-Birds. And of course I bought them because of the logos. Here's the very big Mac. The McDonald's very big Mac. Very cool. This is a really cool Hot Wheels. Kind of unusual. You don't see it that much. It does have that logo here on top. Nice smokestacks on this one. All in chrome. The cab is completely red, no extra colors on it, but I love this uh, detail back on the box. Really cool. Now this is unusual, the bed is kind of smaller, the body here and the cab, I mean the box comes out way farther past the end of the truck. So it makes me, it makes me feel like they're just carrying like a, like a, one of those uh, trailers, containers on top. This one is marked 1996 Mattel Hot Wheels, China. And you can see clearly 1996. And there's a complete base. It's all plastic on the base. All the red area is die cast. All this is metal, metal, nice die cast metal. Beautiful casting. I really like this one. There we go. Couldn't fit him in there. <laughs> and of course he has six tires. All the wheels are the same.
chrome interior with a left side driver really cool no mirrors on the side of this truck we do have that cooling system on top and we do have those big smoke stacks and these tanks on the side very very cool I like that a big mac truck here's another t-bird like i needed to have another t-bird this one is freaky right look at the gold the gold on this one kind of looks like gold records <laughs> When an artist would win a gold record, something like that. It looks like something like that. Like one of those framed gold records because they're kind of like squared out. But uh, look at that. I don't know how they created this, but this feels like a plastic body to me. I don't know. I think it's all plastic. And then metal base. So that's unusual. Metal base here and then plastic body. Hot Wheels. 1977 again. The copyrights on all the T-Birds seem to be 1977. But this must have been a series because they were doing series of four back back when these were being released. And uh, metal, metal bumper in the front, metal bumper in the back, of course, all attached. Big tires in the back there. Pretty, pretty cool. I did show a couple of T-Birds the other day, so I'm going to show them to you real quick in case you didn't see them. Because I have them right here. This one has a little logo in the window. It comes in a nice glossy yellow. Really cool color. And this one would look good next to that green one right these would look cool together yeah look at that there's a nice race let's race these two <laughs> that would be awesome here's another yellow one i was showing because this one this one's a little bit um older and uh it's marked bs on here brian something 57 t-bird i got a couple of cars with this uh, person's a signature that must have been a kid named brian and then an s there i don't know Thunderbird has the, the uh, bird on there and the porthole. This one has the little differences, a little more details with that little porthole in the back. Then when they changed the plastic base, they got it, they eliminated that little porthole. And some of the little details, like this little door right here, whatever, whatever that little vent that opens up there. And a couple of the little things. But this is one that I showed the other day and this one here. But since I have all these T-Birds here, might as well show them because they they're right here on my desk i have a bunch of t-birds here and another one that i showed the other day was this shell uh purple passion here it is next to the actual purple passion look at that nice combo of colors here with the yellow and the purple these look cool together and yeah i did show the green one it's here it's just that i since i have them all here i might as well show them together I found all my other passions. I might have some more. I don't know. I gotta look through my cases. I I wouldn't be surprised if I have some more purple passions. <laughs> this car seemed to be popular for a while. They were releasing a lot of it, and this is really cool. This was a shell exclusive. You can get at the gas station. Pretty cool. I like this green one too. It looks really nice. And I have that black one here. I don't like the color on this one. Like the faded black. I don't know if I can polish that out. Make it look shiny and dark again. So there's a bunch of Hot Wheels right there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.